was the possibility of some snow showers in the area. But it appears that only the Laurentian foothills will receive that. Lux pops it up. Barry. Barry it. And he'll make the play. One down and Bill Russell will come to the plate. Here's the Dodger lineup. Dave Lopes and Bill Russell and Dusty Baker. Steve Garvey in the cleanup spot. He's had a magnificent series so far. Ron Say in the fifth spot. Rick Monday, the veteran in right field. Pedro Guerrero, Mike Sosha, and Fernando Valenzuela. Russell so far has had three hits and 12 at-bats against Montreal in the league championship series. Russell, the type of guy that can move the ball around to all fields occasionally will bunt but not too often. Now for postseason play overall he's batting 250. I guess that's about the way it's gone this year for Bill Russell. Hasn't been a good year offensively for him. One ball one strike. You know there's some hitters in both the National and American Leagues now suggesting Duke that 300 is no longer the benchmark for the good hitters that because of the specialists in pitching now the special mid relief men and the outstanding relief pitching that the benchmark should be somewhere around 285 to 290. Two balls two strikes for Russell. Well I don't know Dave but AstroTurf makes a big difference in the National League. Many of the fields are AstroTurf and that makes hitting that much easier. So I think it equals out. A shot pass from Arnie to the right field corner. Russell is on his way into second base as Jerry White plays it Ball out of the corner. Three. Russell's going to go for three and he'll make it. That's the type of hitter Bill Russell is. He'll go the other way. That time hit it right down the line. There was no chance for anybody. Pitch out away and he slices it right down the first baseline. Now the infield will have to play in. With Valenzuela pitching, he does not allow many runs. Normally, you can't afford to give up one. So Russell at third base, one out, and Dusty Baker, who has six hits in 15 at bats against Montreal in the League Championship Series against Ray Burris last Wednesday. He was two for four. The infield in with Russell at third base. And remember, the Astro turf is very wet. The ball is going to hit on it and scoot quickly, so it's much tougher to defense against a ground ball or a hard hit ground ball anyway. A ball in the outfield is going to scoot all the way to the wall, unless it's right at an outfielder. Tough outs here. Baker in the batter's box. Garvey on deck. One away. And a chopper for Parrish, who holds the runner and makes the play to first base. That is the way Ray Burris has to pitch, as we'll see that. Burris is a ground ball type pitcher, as is Steve Rogers. He gets it here on the moving fastball. Parrish looking the runner back, then throws to first base. A play not dissimilar to the play that Parrish made to start a double play in Los Angeles in the Ray Burris ball game. Different right. situation, a short hop at third, but a play not unlike that one Wednesday. Two down, Garvey up. Garvey with a half a dozen hits in 17 at bats including a home run that propelled the Dodgers to their victory in game four that was here on Saturday again and we have said this so many times but it always bears repeating with a player of Garvey's abilities at the plate he is one of the toughest outs in the league generally. You put a man in scoring position and two outs, and he becomes just as tough an out as there is in Major League Baseball. Some players are money ball players. You put Garvey in that category. Two strikes on Steve Garvey. 31 year old Ray Burris, 9 and 7 during the regular season. Well, he's had a terrific second half, hasn't he, for the Expos? Second half ERA just over one and a half runs per game. Three and one record in the second half. Carter putting the sign down. Two strikes on Garvey. Oh. 
Burris following the pattern Duke that has been successful in getting Garvey out and that is down that ball down he's chased quite a few times in this series chase the breaking ball out away and down and that's where Burris is going to continue to try and get Steve but the good hitters manage to get base hits off that pitch once in a while or they're not the good hitters that they have to be so Garvey uh, will has that in mind he knows that Burris is going to throw in some breaking balls out over the plate and down. Is Garvey a good golfer? He didn't play golf. Uh -huh. Very seldom. I was going to say, if he puts his golf swing on that, Ray might be in trouble. One ball and two strikes. There's some baseball players who don't play golf because they feel it fools around too much with their baseball swing. Well, Garvey, a, a perfectionist, and he's not been able to handle the golf and get it down to where he can enjoy playing. Here's the one two. Runner in third, two outs. Burris! He'll field this ball with his legs crossed. As Burris sometimes falls away from the, the plate. You'll see him there. He goes down and gets it. Fortunately, it was to his left. And he, as he falls away, he's able to field the ball and throw Garvey out. After a half inning of play, the Dodgers nothing. The Expos are coming to bat. The Expos against Fernando Valenzuela. Only Tom Seaver won more games. The great right-hander with the Cincinnati Reds. Won 14 games this season. Valenzuela with 13. There's the Dodgers around him. Their regular lineup. Valenzuela set a National League rookie record. Pitching eight shutouts this year. He led the major leagues in strikeouts with 180. What a season. There's Rick Monday. I think Monday came in for some sunglasses just in case he needs them. He doesn't want something to surprise him out there, right? That's right. That's a good way to do it. To always be prepared. There's Valenzuela, regular season. Postseason, one and one. Uh, See, he's over. keeping that pitching hand in his pocket. Uh, he's not from, uh, too used to cold weather down where he's from in Mexico. The only thing that's cold down there, the tequilas and the beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando ready to go. I think the margaritas might be awfully cool at times yep. down there. He beat Houston. He lost to the Expos, but his ERA and postseason play is 1.96 this year. A called strike. So the deal is, you might beat Valenzuela, but you're going to have to get superb pitching on your side to do it, because he's only going to give you so much. Two strikes on Tim Raines, who is four for 17 against Los Angeles pitching. Reigns in postseason play, of course, missed the Philly series. Thing about Fernando, he's going to throw you strikes. You just have to be selective and to handle the one that you can hit, not chase everything he throws. Because he will nibble away at you. Fernando from Sonora, Mexico. Two balls, two strikes. Reigns a switch hitter. During the regular season, he hit 246 right handed, 319 left handed. Two balls, two strikes. Range didn't chase the bad screwball that time. It was just outside and a bit low. Now Fernando has to come in there. He doesn't want to walk Reigns. 71 stolen bases during the regular season. He's yet to steal a base in postseason play. Reigns this year, Duke is three for seven against Valenzuela. That's not too shabby. No. There's a drive out of the left an center. Extra base hit. On the run, Baker can't get to it. It's into the gap. Tim Reeves is digging. Yeah. He's really going to make a turn at second base and he'll hold up right there. Valenzuela had to come in there with the pitch and Tim hit it right in the gap in left center field. We'll get a good shot of it right here. So the Rock had three in mind, but. 
the relay out in the outfield was perfect. Dusty Baker went over and he took it off the wall and fired it in for the cutoff man, Bill Russell. And Reigns had to hold up with two. And we can talk about that for a moment, Duke, because as we watch the other angle, the team that makes the fewest mistakes out there today, or the team that doesn't make any mistakes out there today, will win this ball game. Now that's right. It's it's, a, it's like those heavyweight battles we've been talking about. It's one of those games where you have to get that first run. That's so important in this ball game, and then try and force the other team into some mistakes. All right, we're waiting for Rodney Scott. Here's a look at Reigns and his approach to that pitch. Duke, you know, in watching Reigns run that out, as well as the Dodgers played it off the wall in left center, I think maybe the first 45 feet cost him Reigns the triple. It could be Reigns watching the ball more or less instead of running hard, and that's something that you're supposed to learn early in your career. Let the coaches tell you when to stop. Scott swings to hit the ball the other way and it's foul out of play. Very good approach by Scott that time trying to hit the ball to the right side. Garvey way off the line. That's what Rodney's got to do in this matchup. Valenzuela to Scott. Scott's got to give himself up and move Reigns along. Valenzuela probably pitch inside too. There's the punt. They're pointing the third. They don't get him. They didn't get him. Thinking about second base. Valenzuela upset with the call. He's saying something very great, but Reigns with that head first slide, and he caught third base with the hand. Valenzuela, pretty good fielding pitcher, came up with the ball, made the throw, a deliberate throw. Watch this. He hooks it with his left hand. He's safe. He's safe. Yeah. Good call by Eric Gregg. He was safe. Here it is again. We see Plus, it again. Plus we see Kim something here. We do that. Play. On the bag, then the tag is made. Close play, but he was in there. Another One angle. You be the umpire. He's in there. Okay, here we go. Dawson up. First and third. The speed of Scott. Think about that. Because Valenzuela is, so is Socia. Rodney Scott during the regular season stole 30 bases. He was only caught six times. Sacrifice fielder's choice that time. Rodney has one stolen base against the Dodgers. Look at the lead he's taking. Now Sosha's got him halfway. Where's he going to throw? Look at Scott. And he breaks back to first base. He's in there. Oh. Now Sosha couldn't leave home plate. He couldn't normally, if there's nobody on base, you run right at the runner, make him commit himself, and then you throw. But that time Sosha had to hold his ground. Nobody at home plate. If he goes anywhere, why well, Reigns comes in to score. But we'll see it right here. Finally, Rodney says, hey, I got a chance. As Lopes dropped the ball down to his side, and he dove back in. How about that? Well, that turned the fans on. The 1-0 pitch, a throw to first base. 1-0 pitch coming up to Andre Dawson. Tell you, uh, this could rattle Valenzuela a little bit. Someone warming up in the bullpen already for the Dodgers. I think it's Bobby Castillo. Lasorda's got to go after it that way. There's no tomorrow for the team that comes out on the short end of this game today. Okay, Fernando was very uptight with the third base up by Greg, and then all this other happened. And you know, he's a youngster yet, 20 years old, and it might affect him mentally a little bit. He might make a mistake to Dawson. Well. Double play. Double play and a run scores. Dawson hits into the double play. Rain scores. The Expos lead one to nothing. Now, there are two ways to look at this. One, the Expos took the lead, and it's very important to score the first run in this game. Secondly, Reigns and Scott. Valenzuela's been thinking about them for 48 hours or more, 72 hours. As soon as they got on base, they drove him nuts, right? They just put him right up the tree. Now... He got out of that situation with just one run scoring. He might be able to get himself together, Duke. 
Well, I think so, Dave. The uh, thing was that uh, the double play ball is a big relief to a pitcher, and uh, Valenzuela taking a few pitches as they take some uh, toilet tissue off the field and uh, bathroom tissue, if you may. But uh, Gary stepping back in. If it's too bad that Dawson hit that ball into the double play and put the pressure on Valenzuela a little bit more, he might have cracked. Carter, six for 13 against the Dodgers. Gary for the regular season hit 251, slamming 16 home runs and had 68 runs batted in. He led the club in RBIs. Fly ball center field, Guerrero. He's got it. So Valenzuela got the big guys, Dawson and Carter, after Reigns and Scott got on base. But the Expos get a run on one hit, no errors, and nobody left. And after an inning of play, Montreal is leading one to nothing. I think they've opportune question to ask manager Jim Fanning is how you can motivate a team you know time after time when there's a delay is there a problem I haven't tried to motivate them because I don't think they need any motivation or any I have not talked to them uh, we didn't have a meeting before yesterday's game they were keyed up and ready to go there was life in the clubhouse there was life during the rain delay last night they they need no uh, message at all at this point this they're is ready over. they're ready unquestionably how about Ray will it help uh, Ray I think the fact that Ray uh, sat for uh, from three to four hours last night in great anticipation of pitching uh, he may be better off today because his routine can go all put together with with uh, without any problems with weather at least I don't think so and uh, he may be better today from from uh, uh, a psychological standpoint and you decided no changes in the lineup exactly the one no. you had set for yesterday exactly their uh, their lineup is the same their pitch is the same and uh, we'll go exactly as uh, we were going to go last night good luck to you. okay thanks Ernie now well, Ron Say in there with one strike say Monday and Guerrero for the Dodgers in the second against Ray Burris One ball, one strike. Say lifetime's been a 287 hitter against Montreal and has hit more home runs than any other current Dodger against the Expos. Lifetime. This year, a 310 hitter against the Expos. One ball and two strikes to say. Ray definitely has the weapons to beat this ball club with the two different type speeds on his curveball and the hard slider and moving fastball. It's just a matter of location and throwing strikes with that breaking pitch. Does not mean he'll pitch a shutout, but right. he'll pitch a low run ball game. Ron Say with a 2 2 count, by the way, has got five hits in 15 at bats against Montreal in the League Championship Series. 